AI 3D modeling generators are getting better and better. These days you can make cool 3D printable models without knowing a single thing about 3D modeling. But can you generate useful 3D models that actually can be printed? Well, let's find out. First, I needed a 3D model generator. For this video, I am using Hightem 3D, which creates 3D models from images. Next step, finding some images of objects that might actually be useful. You can search the web or you can just ask AI to generate some images for you. I had AI create this image of a headphone stand. And trust me, not every image works. Some of them came out extra creative. When you choose images, solid shapes work best, one piece designs, plain backgrounds and simple colors. The less likely the AI is to have an existential crisis while modeling it. Once you have got a good image, upload it to Hightem 3D. Choose the newest version, 1.5, pick the highest resolution, and skip textures, they are not needed for 3D printing. Then hit generate, and wait while the AI quietly googles how to make a 3D model. And it's finished. The model actually looks pretty good, and more importantly, it looks 3D printable. I used Bamboo Studio for slicing. Mostly models from AI come in small size, so you will need to scale them up to reasonable size. Finding the right scale takes a bit guessing, but it's doable. Choose the print settings that work for your printer and filament. Since these models aren't made specifically for 3D printing, you'll probably need extra supports. Also check your first layer. The model might not be perfectly flat. If not, just move it down a little before printing. I generated a few different models. Here are the results. Headphone stand with wolf head. This one came out way better than expected. Great details, clean geometry and the base is big enough to stand on its own. My headphones fit nicely, no complaints there. Viking helmet pen holder. This one needed a bit work before printing. The helmet part was floating above the stand, fits shockingly, it's not printable. I opened it in Bamboo Studio. Rotated it upright, scaled it up, split it into two objects, cut off the extra piece, move the helmet down onto the stand, and merge them together. After that, it printed great. Details are awesome. Odd looking pole. I don't know exactly what this is, but it can hold sweets or whatever else you want. 
I made one mistake, I didn't use enough supports. That caused a small issue, but it's fixable and honestly not that big of a deal. Simple care knob. You should easily model this yourself, but I wanted to test it anyway. It printed fine. Except the top is missing a shift pattern. Instead, it has some strange alien symbols. Maybe it's for a spaceship. Who knows? Hook, wall hanger. Simple but useful. The design is pretty interesting and it printed without any problems. So yes, you can use AI 3D model generators to create useful 3D prints. Some models may need a bit of editing in your slicer or mesh mixer before they are printable. The quality mostly depends on your input image, good images usually give a surprisingly detailed models. You can save a lot of time and you don't need any modeling skills. But this method is not ideal for multi-part models, moving parts, precise measurements, engineering grade designs. If you get a good input, AI works surprisingly well. That's it for this video. If you want to see what other 3D models you can make using AI generators, check out my older videos. Thanks for watching.